the, ta the time is 5.45. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the East Silver Spring Boulevard or State Road 40, Intersection Safety Improvements Public Meeting. My name is Talib Shams, and I am the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. I will now turn it over to our moderator for the evening. Thank you, Talib. Good evening, everyone. My name is Carolyn Fitzwilliam, and I will be your moderator for this evening. We will now begin the presentation. Welcome to the public meeting for the East Silver Springs Boulevard, State Road 40, Intersection Safety Improvements Project. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-800-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-800-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question in the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the question box on the control panel on GoToWebinar to report it. Send an email to mercedes.mitchell at qcausa.com. That's M-E-R-C-E-D-Y-Z dot M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L at qcausa.com to report it or call 727-810-4688. Staff will do their best to assist you. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by June 4th 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. A recording of this presentation will be posted on the project's webpage within one week following the meeting. Those in attendance at the in-person location may speak to our project staff or complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-800-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash pro J-E-C-T forward slash 445-800-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly at talib.shams at dot.state.fl.us. That's T-A-L-E-B dot S-H-A-M-S at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may mail written comments and questions to Project Manager Talib Shams at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the Project Manager at 386-943-5231 
to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concern about the Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at th2 at dot state dot fl dot us. That's jennifer.smith2 at dot dot state dot fl dot us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 3299-0450 by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at j a c q u e l i n e dot p a r a m o r e at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s that's Jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's public notices website in the Ocala Star banner and on social media in the project webpage. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, and elected and appointed officials and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. This project is located at the intersection of East Silver Springs Boulevard, or State Road 40, and Northeast 14th Street, or State Road 492, in Marion County. The purpose of this project is to improve safety at the intersections for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. The existing intersection has two free flow right turn lanes from westbound East Silver Springs Boulevard to westbound Northeast 14th Street. The turn lanes are separated from the eastbound lanes by a concrete island. A buffered bicycle lane begins on westbound Northeast 14th Street, west of Northeast 39th Avenue. The existing typical section of the intersection includes two 11-foot wide travel lanes in both directions, a 7-foot wide bike lane on eastbound Northeast 14th Street, and sidewalks on both sides of the roadway. This project will replace the existing two free flow right turn lanes from westbound East Silver Springs Boulevard to westbound Northeast 14th Street with a single right turn lane that will be controlled by a traffic signal and a new 7-foot wide buffered bicycle lane. The new bicycle lane will connect to the existing westbound bicycle lane on westbound Northeast 14th Street. The project will also add new crosswalks across westbound Northeast 14th Street, upgrade pedestrian lighting, and replace and upgrade the existing traffic signals. The westbound lanes of East Silver Springs Boulevard and Northeast 14th Street will also be repaved within the project limits. The proposed typical intersection would eliminate one 11-foot wide turn lane from westbound East Silver Springs Boulevard to westbound Northeast 14th Street and add a 7-foot wide buffered bicycle lane between East Silver Springs Boulevard and Northeast 39th Street. No changes to eastbound Northeast 14th Street are planned. The design for this project is expected to finish in early 2022. All improvements will be constructed within the existing FDOT right-of-way. Construction is funded and expected to begin in summer 2022 at an estimated cost of $876,000.
To learn more about this project, you can go to www.cflroads.com. That's www.cflroads.com. Click on the search icon and enter the project number 445-800-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name in the top right. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now and a recording of this public meeting will be posted to the website within a week after the meeting. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. All comments and questions will be accepted at any time. Those submitted by June 4th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. This public meeting is being recorded. A recording of this presentation will be posted on the project's webpage within one week following the meeting. Those in attendance at the in-person location may speak to our project staff or complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-800-1. That's www.cflroads.com forward slash pro J-E-C-T forward slash 445-800-1. You may also email your comments and questions to the project manager directly at talib.shams at dot.state.fl.us. That's T-A-L-E-B dot S-H-A-M-S at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may mail written comments and questions to Project Manager Talib Shams at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida 32720. You may also call the Project Manager at 386-943-5231 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours after the public meeting. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. Thank you very much for joining us for this public meeting regarding the East Silver Springs Boulevard Intersection Safety Improvements Project. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, um, again, we do thank you for attending. If you have any comments or questions after the meeting, you may submit them by June 4th to be included in the public record for this project. We will leave the webinar open for a few minutes to allow you to enter any comments or questions into the questions box. A reminder, if you are calling in by telephone, um, please contact FDOT Project Manager Talib Shams directly during normal business hours after the meeting. You can reach him by phone at 386-943-5231, by email at talib.shams at dot.state.fl.us, that's T-A-L-E-B dot S-H-A-M-S at D-O-T dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s. You may also write to him at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, the land Florida 32720. Again, we have placed a project information on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445-800-1. A recording of this public meeting will also be placed on the project website within a week after the meeting.
So again, thank you for joining us for this public information meeting. If you do have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. In the meantime, have a wonderful evening. Thank you.